Hello? Is it the mayor's house? Is Mr. Handy Handy? I want to speak to him, please. You're him. He's you. Oh, <laughs> how do you do? <laughs> this is Mrs. Feather speaking, Mr. Handley. You know I live next door to Ned. So do you. At the mayor's nest, really, really. <laughs> well, I've, um, I've just received a personal pamphlet from the government about the importance of economizing electricity, Mr. Mayor. And I'm bringing up all my friends and neighbors because the paper says we must all put our shoulders together and try and share each other's electric fires and ovens and, uh, when possible, sit round the same light and put only a teensy-weensy little electric kettle in the water, um, um, water in the electric kettle for a cup of tea and have as small a bath as possible, however dirty we feel, and... I say we must only have a little bath in the electric kettle, however dirty, and use it for a cup of tea. Hello, are you there? You are. Am I? All there. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> I'm all here. Mm-hmm. Well, now, um, another thing. We mustn't, we positively mustn't use any electricity between the hours of 8 and May and 1 MP, because that's when it's being used for making guns and gullets. Um, guns and bullets. Uh, bull- 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 so, I beg your pardon? Chase what? Your aunt picks his poodle round a pile and I don't follow. No one can. He runs too fast. I see, I see. <laughs> well, the point is, Mr. Mayor, that I've arranged to use my friend Mrs. Kettle's kettle for my tea. I'm cooking my lunch on the corner of my cousin Connie's cooker. And I was wondering if it would be convenient for me to come around this evening and knit my bella cappers and uh, bella carvers round your electric fire. You see, I fixed myself up round the Fanshawe's fire on Mondays and Tuesdays, the Winkles Wednesday and Thursdays, and if I could Saturdays and Sundays sit round uh, your little fire, well, I shouldn't be using any electricity at all. <laughs> And, of course, as you know, that uh, means so many more guns and uh, pointing at Hitler's rear when the time comes. Now, how does the idea appeal to you? You'd rather what? Flatten your fuse box with a flat iron? Well, that's all very well, Mr. Handy, but uh, this war's got to be won, you know. Could I hop across and pop my leg into the oven with yours, then? No, no, no. <laughs> I mean, my lamb of leg, my leg, uh, le- leg of our lamb. You see, it says here, if you can't fill your oven yourself, share it with a neighbour. Now, your Mrs. Mop told my Mrs. Bin that you were having a little leg for supper, too. And I thought that if, uh, if we could both roast our little legs together, we'd... Mangle your meter with a meat axe? Good gracious. But that won't get you anywhere, Mr. Handley. Besides, you're dining with a spotted cow. Good heavens, are you? Yes. Oh, at the spotted cow. <laughs> well, that reminds me, Mr. Handley. I do hope that as mayor of mouthing at the fur, foaming at the mouth, you will be one of the first to turn over a new leaf and start all over again in a clean pair of sheets. Because, Hello? Hello, exchange, don't dislocate me. I'll be through to the mayor. He's rung himself off. Oh, dear, well, now, look here. Uh, exchange. Exchange, I want to have a little talk with you. I've just received a personal pamphlet from the government about the importance of economizing electricity. I'd like to read you a few passages. You know all about it. Go and read it to myself. But, hello. Hello, electricity. Exchange. Ex- 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 hello? 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 Oh, dear, now she's gone. Hello. Oh, well, I've done my best. I, I can't do more. Really.